Ali Senusi. I'm from Nigeria. I'm RP patient. I was diagnosed with the disease uh, around 2015 when I visited my local doctor because I work in the bank but with a lot of challenges. Sometimes when a paper is uh, brought to me, I cannot be able to read well. I cannot be able to look at the screen and to drive in the night is a very, very difficult task. Even during the daytime, if the room, the light is not bright enough, I cannot be able to detect things. Some black colors, I cannot be able to see or to pick something. Sometimes I bumped into some other things in the room. Even in a place where there is a bright brightness, if the brightness is not strong enough, I cannot be able to see. I visited a lot of hospitals in Nigeria, many places. All what they say about my disease, they say disease has no cure. They will do a lot of tests, what, what, uh, a lot of things, but nothing like that. They have not done anything to me. They always say the disease has no cure. So they say they only manage uh, to tell me I cannot be able to cure, they cannot be able to cure the disease. Uh, as time goes on, I read this about it a lot because uh, it irritates me for myself at my younger age. I cannot be able to move during the evening time or to walk in a place in a gather a lot of things. So my brother, uh, Professor Omar, uh, introduced or made a referral to me of this uh, uh, center. Before, he wanted to travel to Germany because my elder sister traveled to Germany last day around this time. Uh, when they went there, there was only a single treatment plan. She comes back, but there is no much improvement. As such, uh, Professor Umar decided to uh, search on this center. So, as of then, we start to prepare for our journey. Uh, when I came here, my vision was, was so much poor. Uh, Professor Omar has to hold my hands in the airport. A lot of places when there is that, I have to depend on him to walk. Uh, but when I came here, uh, it was too, uh, it was very very exciting uh, because before we come, they send a treatment plan to us, which is quite different from other places. Like in Germany, they only have a single treatment plan. But when I saw this day by day, and every day there is uh, a treatment plan, I was so excited. I was eager to come. So when we come, the first day it was very active, quite impressive and exciting. There was a lot of activities, uh, starting from body temperature, uh, blood uh, freezer, uh, blood sample, x-ray, a lot of other activities which I have never uh, done any in Nigeria, they have not done all this kind of uh, different tests to me to, to see how uh, the extent of the disease in my uh, body. For the first day, the treatment plan started. I uh, went through, there was an injection on both sides of the eyes and in front of my eyes. Uh, there was also a bunch of, when I went there, it was quite different from other places because what I had from my sister, it was kind of only electrical, uh, electrical acupuncture to stimulate the nerve cells. But here in this center, it was quite impressive because it was a kind of combining uh, acupuncture. I really enjoyed it. It was very exciting. Uh, the first day after the first day, when I took my injection serum and the other herbal injection, from there, the room was very brighter to me. When I got to my room, the room was very okay, unlike before. It, it was before, when I left from that room to my own room, it would be a kind of a challenge. Even when I come to my room, it would be a challenge for me to 
see my bed or to see my chair and all that things. But when I come to my room, I was surprised. I just see all the faces very bright. And in the evening time, uh, my brother, we walk out. We went to the park around 5.30 to 6, in between 5.30 to 6. Before in Nigeria, anything from 6, I will stop moving to any other place that I can only remain in my house. Even to walk around in the house, I don't, I will sit in a place. See, when I want to sleep, then I will go to bed. Even if I want to move in my own house, I have to use additional extra lamp, hand torch to punch to see a place. But that day when we went out to 530, we went to the park. I was, it was surprising, very impressive to me. I just started to think, ah, is it me? I was walking myself without defending on any other person. If it was before, I had to hold his hand. I crossed the roads confidently, went into the fact I was able to tell him all the colors I see. Unlike before, a color is difficult for me to recognize a color. I was telling him this is red, this is uh, green, this is what I want. And also, before, if I walk in the evening, somebody coming to my side, it's hard for me to see him. It's only when I bump into him that I will uh, be able to know somebody is coming to my side. But that day when we were walking in the park, in the garden, ah, I told him, I saw a person coming to my side, and I was able to recognize the face of that person. Unlike before, somebody coming to my side, it's hard for me to see. The one he come, maybe he bump or bump into him. But that time, the person was staying far away from me. I was able to see him very, very well. And I was able to recognize his face. We come back around almost, it was almost dark, almost 6.30, getting to 7. I was able to walk independent of any other person. I was able to walk myself without holding his hand. It was quite impressive. Even when, when we come back into the center, I was able to tell him some uh, road signs, some biking signs. I was able to tell him there is a cross much on this, there is so 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 discovered, it was quite impressive. Uh, I really seriously appreciate this center. And one exciting thing about this center, unlike in my own country and other places I had, uh, this place is quite much different from other places because the whole activity and the whole treatment is a kind of teamwork my surprise, not a single doctor, not two, three, plenty of doctors for them to care for me, to care for my, my, my sickness. I was quite uh, impressive because it wasn't like this in any other places. Even in Germany, I know my sister uh, has not told me anything like this because I know it was just a single doctor. And apart from that, in Germany, when they went there, there was no accommodation. He only comes from the hotel. They will go to the clinic. They will do the session morning and evening. And this is quite very hectic for somebody from other country. They didn't provide accommodation to them. Well, like this place, they give us a benefit and a nice accommodation. I feel like home, seriously, because it was a PIP lounge. I really appreciate it. And another thing is, I, I have never known about anything like uh, oxygen chamber even in my country, Nigeria. That I don't think there's a place with such kind of facilities. I want in a place like a kind of oven. I was there, I placed a mask on my nose, I was able to be injecting oxygen to improve uh, air circulation in my body. I stayed there for almost two hours on the first and second day. I really appreciate it because it's something new to me. I have never heard of it from any other place. Even when I was googling on the Google, I had never read something like that, but I saw it here. It was quite impressive. The second day, uh, uh, 
the second day was another quiet improvement. Before, if I want to uh, use my tablet, when I found a tablet, the letters, my eyes would be a kind of blinking. The letters would be a kind of shaking, shaking like that. I will not be able to read. Even if I want to read, it would be a kind of irritating. My eyes would be irritating. And yesterday, late evening, I didn't even own the light in my room, but the light is okay, a natural light. I was able to open my tablets, to read the letters, to tap and read. That is quite interesting because it's something new to me for quite a long period of time. Because before I can't, I can't do anything like that. So to me, I have no regret for coming to this place because I have almost, and God willing, I know I will achieve my mission of coming to this place. Because right from my country, before we leave the country, I have the belief that God willing, the cure will be here. And from the look of things, uh, things are going well, very, very well. Uh, like before, a weather like this, something like this, for example, I would just find it somehow nervous for me even to, to be in the room because I have to make use of touch light to, 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 to light a place. For example, this chair, unlike before, if this before, then when I come to the room, I have to be dragging my hands you know, where the seat is, but now with this treatment, I was able to, 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 to do a lot of things unlike before. So I really appreciate uh, this treatment plan and to the doctors, I really, really appreciate them because they are quite wonderful. They are so friendly, they are very active, they do their work diligently. Whenever we go on time, they do their things. I, I really appreciate it. And to the coordinator and our colleagues, we really appreciate their, 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 their offer doing because they are quite active. Because uh, right from our first day when we came to the airport, uh, they picked us from the airport to the hotel. And when we come to the clinic, uh, to the hospital, they brought us to the hospital. And the shows of our foundation. So I really appreciate uh, the the team of doctors, the coordinator, and our colleagues. I uh, really, really, really appreciate it because they are often doing what impresses me every day. Is the first thing in the morning, the coordinator will will, will work me off for the for the treatment, and we'll go together till after the treatment. In other places, it wasn't like this. Not, I don't think there's a place. And they carry out this kind of activity like this because they are so much caring, they do their work diligently, and they are off and doing. So that's what makes me to, to call my sister and explain everything about this center. My sister is seriously, seriously eager to come here because when I told her the first day there is this opportunity to before injection almost before tight on the eyes and in front of the eyes. Uh, oxygen chamber, uh, actually a lot of things when I explained to her, it was quite uh, surprising because when they went to Germany, nothing like that, it was only a single treatment, but here, yeah, day by day, it's an every day there is a plan for you, so I really appreciate uh, everybody, most especially the team of doctors, the international patient coordinator and colleagues, I really appreciate uh, they are often doing they are very active and they have what you call customer service handling skills. They care and they cater for their customers. Uh, even the food we are, we eat, we went before coming to China, we are like saying, ah, how can we be able to get uh, a kind of food for, for example, local dish, something that we are used to. But to our surprise, everything was going well, food on and off every time, sweet over one, the whole leg. So I quite, you know, quite, I'm quite impressed with the uh, activities that have been conducted for my own uh, RP disease. And I hope God willing this sickness uh, will be over because I have seen quite a kind of improvement day by day, day by day, well like before, before it was uh, decreasing, but now the vision is increasing steadily day by day.
everybody I know, as time goes on, everything will be okay. And one thing about this again is, uh, I only Google on serum injection, stem cell therapy. Other places, I don't think they are doing that, but here, that's what they talk to me. They induce uh, the, the life cell almost 90% and serum injection which is something new even in this uh, world, not every other country do this kind of uh, treatment for RV patient. Most hospitals in the world, the word they use is no cure, no cure, no cure, which is no good thing because they feel somehow nervous. That what makes me somehow nervous with my country doctor saying no cure, no cure, because if you have not done a research, a particular disease is not proper for you to see it as no cure. But when you come here, God willing, the cure will be here because the treatment is quite very impressive and I really appreciate it.